little cell or something called a nephron. Nephrons are the tiny little filters inside of your kidneys and there's Okay, so this is a nephron, a drawing of a nephron. Um, we're going to look at two main parts of the nephron. This is the glomerulus, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, and these are a network of capillaries beginning at the nephron, and it performs the first step of the filtration. So capillaries, if you remember from when we were doing gas exchange, are also found in the lungs, and they are trading out the um, CO2 and oxygen for each other in the lungs. So something similar is happening here as well as the blood goes through the network of capillaries. Stuff is diffused out and taken into this other part of the nephron which is known as the Bowman's capsule. And other stuff leaves this way. So this is a sac basically around like this huge filter and things that can pass through are water, glucose, salt, amino acids, and urea. So all of that stuff will come out of the glomerulus and get taken to the Bowman's capsule. Um, cells and platelets that are like large proteins, that kind of stuff that um, are not able to go through will come back out this way and continue down the excretory system. The things that do pass through, so yeah, the water, the glucose, the salt, etc., those things are known as the filtrates. Okay, here's another picture of the um, nephrons and what they do inside the kidney. So yeah, here's our um, capillaries, here's our Bowman's thing or other, and things that are getting taken out. We've got salt, hydrogen, water, potassium, all that, oh, and um, ammonia. All that stuff. There's a descending area where water comes out and salt comes out on a way back up. And it looks like it's taken out a few last little bits before sending the rest down the tube. So we're also going to talk about a hormone called antidiuretic hormone. Like, so what it does, how it affects excretion, um, what causes changes in it, that kind of thing. Okay. So basically, ATD helps control the amount of water that is reabsorbed into your kidneys. What it does specifically is it makes the nephrons more permeable to water. That way, more water doesn't get wasted. It doesn't get sent into your waste system. It gets taken back into the body and reused. Um, and what it actually also does is makes your urine more concentrated. And really cool thing, I know that none of you drink because you are not old enough to drink. Um, but when in a few years you will be old enough to drink alcohol, you will notice that when you drink a lot, you also need to go to the bathroom a lot. And that's because <laughs> ingesting alcohol actually kind of makes the ADH system work a little bit uh, not as good, actually. So less ADH is being produced, which means that it's less permeable to water, which means that more water is getting sent down your uterus and into your bladder, causing you to pee more. Here we have the little kangaroo rats. 
You guys may have seen them if you've ever gone through the California deserts before. They are very cute. They hop around like little kangaroos. Um, they actually have the longest nephrons that can reabsorb water very efficiently. They do not need to drink as much water, which is good because they live in the desert. This is an incredibly cool adaptation that they have to be able to stay hydrated and to take water from wherever they can get it, wherever like they're eating. So I actually recommend looking these guys up because they are really badass. Um, there's videos of these guys fighting rattlesnakes. Um, 10 out of 10, really good entertainment. You guys should check that out. That is about it for the lecture. Um, all that I have now is to talk to you about the homework and stuff. We will have a quiz on Thursday, so you're going to want to go over the different systems that we talked about over the past couple days, the digestive system, the circulatory system, and of course now the excretory system. Um, we also have our final lab reflection due on Canvas on December 11th. This one is 25 points, so really put some effort into this one. The prompts should be on Canvas, but you're basically writing about your experience in the lab. So leave everything out of lecture, out of this. This is just lab and things that worked for you and things that didn't work for you. Um, if you have any opinions about me, also try to keep that out of there. Uh, for those, you're going to want to fill out the, the seat evaluation form, um, which should be available by now, which feel free and give your opinions there. I, I take my job seriously because I want you guys to be able to learn, and if there's any way that I can improve for the next semester, I am more than happy to hear what you guys have to say. But yeah, in the final reflection, just your experience in the lab without lecture and without me, essentially. We also have a final notebook check on Thursday. It was supposed to be today, but obviously I can't check your notebooks like this. So just bring your notebooks on Thursday and I will look at them while we're in class. If you know that you're not gonna be here on Thursday, reach out to me, send me an email. We will work something out. Um, oh, and the last thing that I should tell you is for Thursday, which is our last class, by the way, uh, you're going to want to think about what you are, are going to do with your degree because we're going to be talking about preparing for career goals for our last class. So whatever you're thinking about doing with your biology degree or related, I'm not sure, there's a few of you that I don't think are just biology majors, um, what do you want to do with it after you leave San Francisco State? Some of you are probably going to want to go on to a grad school program, do you have any idea what kind of things you would want to concentrate on for um, your grad school situation and going on to a doctorate and a postdoc and all that stuff? And it's okay if you don't really know what you want to do yet. I mean, I didn't know at your guys' age what I wanted to do either. But you can look at different like job ideas that sound really interesting to you. If you've ever thought about considering being a marine biologist, which is really cool. Um, you can totally look up some of those careers and I can also help you with that as well. Um, if you are looking at being a doctor or a nurse, you could find s specific areas that interest you in that, like uh, if you're interested in like pediatric doctorics, doctor, pediatrics, sorry, <laughs> um, that could be something that you can look into as well. So just whatever interests you on that day, if you do not have a set career path yet. That is what you can pick and look at how you could achieve that and what your job would be like if you were to pursue that. And I believe that's all that I have to tell you for today. Yeah, we got the quiz, lab reflection, I went over the, um, okay, yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys on Thursday. Um, email me if you have any questions about this, about next lab and I don't know just about anything oh before we go it is not too late for you to upload old assignments onto canvas I there are a few of you that are still missing some like lab reflections for example um, now would be the time if you have the bandwidth at least to get them in and 
that way you don't have a zero in there and it should help improve your score a little bit you know anything is better than a zero right so if you also want some help with that or are wondering what you need to do I do have one final office hours on Friday it's gonna be from 12 to 1 feel free to drop in um, the link is on canvas and we can chat there I will have to have your grades in by next week so you are going to want to make sure that everything that you can do for this class is done all right on that note i will see you on thursday um say goodbye papaya she said goodbye all right bye